February 2022. After filming through the crucial test, I said, fuck it, and I quit video games for good. Previous to this point, I tried quitting video games several times, but failed after a couple of weeks. But this time, I didn't even miss video games a bit. Why is that? You see, when we try to cut off a bad habit or addiction, we fail to realize that in order to make it permanent, we need to replace it with another thing. For me, it was weightlifting. Visiting the Temple of Iron not only gave me a replacement for video games, but also set me on my journey to achieve the 10 out of 10 aesthetic body. Let's talk about the symptoms of video games addiction so you can recognize it when it is too much. 1. Poor sleep hygiene. For me, this has to be the one that haunted me throughout my life. 2. Declining physical health. Basically, when you are sitting in a room for hours, your body will start to degrade your muscles. For me, it was my back muscles. And you see people with this forehead tilt, you know this. I had this for many years. And I just began fixing my posture recently. So, prevention is better than treatment. 3. Poor concentration. In all walks of life, having poor focus is straight up destructive. Remember one time I read a book, it was about bodybuilding and I couldn't even recall a word from it. The point is that it is disruptive. 4. Social anxiety. I think more and more young men and women are experiencing this problem. You get into a social situation and you freeze down. When you are sitting in your room, most of your time, apart from sleeping, I believe that your brain is comparing you to the people that you see every day, you know, these models and things. And so it makes you feel anxious and fragile. My antidote for social anxiety was just going out more and more, little by little, and talking to people. You not only meet new people and make friends, but you also have less time to spend on video games. So going out is something that you should seriously consider. 5. Lack of motivation and discipline. If it, will be, if it will be just that, it will be still pretty harmful for you. You see, motivation is temporary feeling, while discipline is a skill that you can level up in real life. These were the 5 things of why I left video games for good. Now let's recap this video. Video games often lead to an addiction. In order to eliminate a bad habit, you have to slowly and steadily replace it. Prevention is better than treatment. Video games can lead to improper sleep, bad physical and mental health, poor focus, social anxiety, and lack of motivation and decreased willpower. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more video content and express your opinions in the comment section below. See you next time.